And I was I had my first big audition in California. I was at this deli called Nate's Deli. I went in, I'm standing at the counter, and Mary Tyler Moore is standing there too, and she says, hello, and I said, hi, and then we started talking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just met Mary Tyler Moore. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped, there's a payphone, this is before we were all carrying cell phones. I stop at a payphone in the corner, and I think, gosh, what an incredible day. And I'm gonna call my mom, I call my mom, there's no answer, and then I think, well, I'll check my machine at the little apartment I was sharing with some other actors when I first moved out here. And I get the ma machine, there's a message from my agent. He says, Bonnie, you have your first official audition. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> this is unbelievable. I just met Mary Tyler Moore. Now I have this audition. This is the greatest day. <laughs> so I get the address, I write it all down. I take my keys out of my purse and I'm walking down the street and a guy comes by on a bike and he rips my purse right off my shoulder. And he keeps going and I'm standing there going, wait a second, is my purse gone? And I thought, oh, well, thank goodness I have my keys, and it doesn't matter. I don't need my purse because I'm going on an audition. I'm going to be rich and famous, so it's not going to matter. Right? So I just don't even care that my purse has been stolen, you guys. And I walk to the car, and I get this. I had this little Geo Metro. It was $16 a day, and it had no power steering, no air conditioning. Okay, and I'm from the Midwest, and it's like January, so I'm wearing pantyhose and an Argyle sweater. <laughs> really bad. Every time I drove the car, I lost 10 pounds. And so I get in the car, and I'm driving along, driving along, and I'm going to go to the address of where the thing is. And I look in the mirror, and I think, oh, my gosh, I don't have any makeup on, not a stitch. I don't have my purse. My makeup's in my purse. I thought, all I need is lipstick. And I've told this on many talk shows before that my mom could do her whole face with one tube of lipstick. <laughs> Make, you know, figure it all out. So I thought, all I need is uh, to get some lipstick. And I thought, well, I don't have any money. And I see like this little white hen pantry, which is like a 7-Eleven. I pull over, I get out of the car, and I dig in all the seats, trying to find, you know how you got money laying around in the car? So I'm looking and looking, and I get like $1.39 together. And I walk in the white hen pantry, and I say to the guy, do you sell lipstick? He said, I think we have one color. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. So I walk down the aisle to the lipstick, and it's like, you know, red, red, really red is what it was called. And I get the lipstick. And I'm walking back to the car and I'm opening the package, you know, and I'm holding on to my keys. And I think it's okay. Purse was stolen. I don't care. I'm getting to this audition. I've got like 40 minutes to get there. And I look up at the car and I think, geez, I don't remember leaving my window open. And I thought, what? What's going on? And I see glass all over the street and somebody's broken the window of my car. I don't know what they thought they were going to get the rest of the change I didn't find. <laughs> but the window's broken and there's a, like a rock in the car. I think, oh my gosh, so I just wipe the glass off the seat. I said, it doesn't matter because new car coming tomorrow. Be like, I'm not this, you know? I get all the glass off the seat and I get in the car and I put the sweatshirt down that I had in the trunk on the seat and I sit on top of the glass. I can feel it all. I'm thinking it's going to come through eventually. I got to drive fast. And I put the lipstick on and I put it on my cheeks. I do the whole face, right? And I get to the audition. I'm like, oh, I just made it in time. And I thought, oh my gosh, my reward. There's a parking spot right in front of the building. All I have to do is make a U-turn pull up right in front. This is God's reward. He gave me this parking spot because I've been okay with the car window being broken and my purse being stolen. I'm having a positive mental attitude. I make the U-turn. I pull right into the spot. I open the door and a truck comes by and takes the door right off. The <laughs> now I start looking around for Ashton Kutcher or Alan Funt. I'm like, somebody's playing a game on me. Now, before all of this, uh, the, the, the agent says to me, when you get there, don't do any comedy because it's a drama. This was uh, an audition for 21 Jump Street. I was supposed to be woman crying at grave. <laughs> right? So I think, okay, I won't be funny at all. He goes, don't show your humor. You'll only confuse them. Let them think you're a dramatic actress. I'm like, well, I'm an actress. Comedy or drama, it doesn't matter. He's like, just don't mess with it. So I get, I wait for the car, to, the, the, the truck to go by. The you know, door is spinning in the middle of the street like an accordion. I wait, I go and I grab it and I put it in the trunk of the car and I close it. And I go into the audition. So I get in and now I'm like, like seven minutes late or something. I'm sweating. I go and I go, hi, I'm here. I'm supposed to be here at five o'clock for the thing. And they said, oh, okay, go ahead right in. And the guy says, you know, you're a little late. I said, oh, I would never be late. I said, but you're not going to believe what happened to me. And I tell the story. I got hung up the phone. I was walking. My purse was stolen. I got to my car, banged the window. I get out of the car. The doors get strung up. I threw it in the trunk. It's like an accordion. And now I'm here with you today. And I know this was a cry at the grave. It's absolutely no problem with the day I have. I could sob. So <laughs> I do the audition, right? And I really cry because right at this point now, I'm totally vulnerable and wiped out. And I'm sobbing. And they go, thank you. And I leave. And I think, that was all meant to happen because now I'm going to be lady crying a grave on 21 Jump Street. Right? So I get home and it's like half an hour, you know, 45 minutes later and I see the light blinking on the machine and I run in slow motion. I think they've called back. 
Who else can they possibly hire? Nobody could have cried on a dime like that. And I hit the machine, it's the agent. And he says, hey, Bonnie, it's Sandy. Just so you know, I don't know why you don't take my advice. They said they really thought you were great, but the whole stand-up comedy bit you did about the car and everything. I was like, stand-up comedy? That really happened. Was it a joke? And he said that just threw them off. Although they thought you did a really good audition, they just don't see you doing the drama. Devastating. Oh, I guess so I called so. the agent. I go, you don't understand. That was true. It all happened to me. He goes, stop being so dramatic. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? So, I was to show you.